Welcome to using Industrial Communication Toolbox in MATLAB. In this video, you'll see how industries can use PI system with this toolbox. So what is the PI system? OSISoft makes the PI system the market-leading data management platform for industrial operations. PI system is an integrated portfolio of software to collect, store, view, analyze, and share operational data with users within and beyond the enterprise. And the heart of this system is the PI server, which is used for real-time data storage, normalization, analytics, and notification engine. Industrial Communication Toolbox allows you to connect to an OSI soft PI server to extract the real-time data, normalize, and analyze the data all from within MATLAB. There is a hydro plant owned by a company, and they want to monitor the hydro turbines to ensure optimal energy production. They have a PI server set up that collects real-time turbine-related data. Now let's see how they can use Industrial Communication Toolbox to help extract any turbine data to monitor their performance and condition. In this example, let's see how they can monitor and visualize the line voltage data of the turbines. In this example, the PI server is named after the Windows computer in which the server is installed. So you can connect to the server using the PI client function and passing the host name as input. PI server collects a lot of data and it's not very easy to remember all the attributes or tags and the data it stores. To help narrow down a little bit, there is a tags function that takes in partial tag name and compares it with the available tags in the PI server. So in this case, the turbine you want to monitor is clear, but not the exact tag name of the attribute. You can use the tags function to get the list of attributes associated with that turbine by passing in the turbine name like so. This is a new notation of using name value pairs in MATLAB to make coding more streamlined. From that big list, filter out the voltage tags that you're interested in. To read the data associated with the voltage line, the read function takes in a date range along with the PI client object and the tags we obtained in the previous steps. Any date range can be given, but if you're not sure when the data collection began, passing the earliest equal to true name value pair to the read function can be very helpful. Now that you know the date time of the first recorded entry, your start date will look something like this, and the end date can be set to now. Typically, PI server stores large amounts of data, and depending upon how frequent the data collection is, the size of the data can be huge. It can be more than what MATLAB can handle and is also not very useful either. The PI system has a way of providing interpolated data which is more useful for analysis. To do this, add the interval option to the read function. This will extract data at 4 hour interval. Now that the data collection step is done, let's visualize the individual voltage line data. For that, unstack the timetable to distribute each line voltage as a timetable variable. Notice that the timetable in the previous step contains some NAN values. This happens when data points of a timetable are not all sampled at the same interval. This can be corrected using linear interpolation using the fill missing function. Create a separate timetable for each voltage line which can be used for visualization in the next step. This is how the visualization of the voltage line data looks like. So this is how a hydro plant can use industrial communication toolbox for monitoring various aspects of their turbines. In this video, you have learned how to extract the tags and read data related to them from the PI server using Industrial Communication Toolbox. Thanks for watching. Check out more examples in the documentation to learn about other workflows.